everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Monday. I don't even know if anyone's here. I am doing a Bath and Body Works Brightest Bloom launch party tonight. And uh, it's funny because I just got off the Harry Slatkin live for National Fragrance Week. And um, that's actually looking really good. I'm hanging out here by myself for a couple of minutes. You know, it's funny. There is a way for me to get the link. I think it's the share link. Yes, it's the share link. Okay, copy. I got a thumbs up. Someone's here. <laughs> Yay. Um, I think there's a way for me to... Oh, hey, Philly Jilly. Hey, I'm doing a live tonight. Uh, we're going to do a Brightest Bloom launch party. How's the sound, by the way? Can you hear me okay? I hope the sound is better tonight. My computer was crashing for some reason. <laughs> like, no idea why, but my computer was not doing well. I can't decide if this is a good time or not. Oh, yeah, people are starting to, to come in. Hey, everyone. We're doing a Brightest Bloom launch party tonight. We got to talk about um, the new set. Hey, Elijah, how you doing? Perfect. Oh, yay. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Yay. I'm glad I look pretty good today. I... <laughs> Hi, Miss Nikki. Hi, Nita. Um. It's funny because I feel like today has been really, really long. I got up this morning at 6 a.m. because I had a dust appointment at 7.30. Never again. <laughs> like that's really, really early. <laughs> so um, I've been up for a long time today. But as many of you know, oh, hey, Lima. Hey, everyone. Um I actually did get into Bath and Body Works today, actually two days in a row. I've got so much new stuff. Oh, you know what? I, where did I put those? Oh, I got the Brightest Bloom perfume. We're going to talk about that. We're doing a, uh, oh, you know what? My child will never go on a lie. She's a teen. <laughs> She's like, no way. <laughs> Be more likely to get my husband or my mother on. They're in the other room watching TV. <laughs> um, uh, Letty, Letty's my uh, <laughs> Letty is my um, my uh, loyal co-host that always comes on with me <laughs> and loves to come on so much. <laughs> my mother likes coming on too, but it's just a little bit more uh, difficult for the setup to get us both back here. Yay! Yes. Um, so I thought I'd talk about Brightest Bloom a little bit tonight. Before I get into Brightest Bloom, I just did a video tonight about these. This is a really interesting collection, you guys. Um, I managed to get four of these new fragrances, and uh, there are actually 10 of them. I'm like, whoa. So there is so much new product. Um we have the, the 10 new fragrances coming. Yeah, I know. Cammy. they're so interesting. Oh, hey, Lori. Indiana, you're my neighbor. Um, I'm going to do a Brightest Bloom launch party, but I'm just kind of waiting a couple minutes until everybody kind of gets here. And um, I did a video about these today. This is the new mist collection that's only going to be a mist, nothing else. I did a video on my first impression of Dressed in White. Another new collection coming. We got the Bourbon, Strawberry, and Vanilla today. Oh, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. We got two Bonnies here. Yay. Crafting After Midnight's here. Um, yeah, this, this pink is stunning. I got to say. I love that so much. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, Japanese Cherry Blossom. This is not the new packaging, but Japanese Cherry Blossom did get an upgrade in packaging. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting, Lima, why they did that. 
Uh, the other new thing I got a hold of this weekend was Gigam Unstoppable. I'm going to do a first impression about that soon. And then, of course, um, the Bridgerton, <laughs> which the entire Bridgerton collection is coming out on Monday. But notice this. Uh, these lids are exactly the same. So Bath & Body Works is really... Uh, getting a lot of um, steam off of this lid. So I have to do um, another review. I'm going to do a review of the three wick candle for Bridgerton. Um, I can't wait to get into my store. Yeah. It's funny. I went in today and I, I got to say the setup for brightest bloom is probably like the prettiest I've seen. I mean, it's gorgeous. Like you just walk in and it's just an explosion of florals. Oh, hey, Ray. How you doing tonight? Um, so I actually... Oh, Angel! Yay! So glad you're here. Um, I really want to kind of go deep on Brightest Bloom. Because this is the new signature scent. This is like going to be the main floor set um, for Mother's Day. I'm hearing that Bridgerton is going to be like a little bit farther back. It's not going to be the main floor set. Um, I'm loving, you know what? I really crafting after midnight. I love brightest bloom. I'm going over to homeworks, new candles shopping. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Hobby guy. I gotta say <laughs> the new, uh, homeworks candles are, uh, pretty stunning. This water, I opened this one and this watermelon, even though it's got honey to it, <laughs> it is so good. So yeah, <laughs> Harry was just on. That was so exciting. Uh, yeah, the geek cats. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yes, yeah, the Mother's Day bag. So that's going to be, yeah, Brightest Bloom is going to be in the Mother's Day bag. As soon as, oh, hey, Peter. Um, as soon as I get any news about the Mother's Day bag, I'm going to be um, on it. So Brightest Bloom, this is the packaging. And super pretty. Um, I gotta say the minute I saw the packaging, I was like, oh yeah, this is like, I am on the packaging. It is, I get, you know, it's so funny. It's hard to read the scent notes because they're in gold. Um, the scent notes on this one are Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. And what's so weird is that Honestly, like, I don't understand why, but um, they changed up the scent notes a little bit. I mean, it was the weirdest thing, but they were a little bit different. Like, when they first brought the fragrance out, I'm like, what is going on? Because the, that was like a Scooby-Doo mystery, like, times 10. I'm like, I have no clue what happened, um, but they kind of changed up the scent notes. Oh, hey, Mandy. Um, they kind of changed up the scent notes. So, I don't know. Let me look at the... Um, the perfume. Yeah, it's Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood, which makes sense, actually. I don't know. I don't know if there was just a weird discrepancy when it first came out, but sometimes Bath and Body Works has like an oddity like that. So anyway, I got to say, I love this scent. It is fresh. It is springy. It is not powdery. It is not overly floral. A few people, I've heard a few people say it's got that like grandma's bathroom scent. <laughs> I don't think it does. I actually wore this a couple times, um, like out and about. And, you know, my friends are like, oh, that smells really good. Like, what are you wearing? So I actually think it's a really good scent. It comes in everything. There's the diamond shimmer mist. There is the, I actually, um, Took a bunch of pictures today in the store. And like I said, I didn't want to buy too much of it today only because unfortunately, um, nothing was really on sale today. I hate when they do that, when they launch something. So the scrub, which is awesome, you know, the lotion, the cream, the diamond shimmer mist, we have it in the body butter. Um, and let's see what else we have. Okay. The soap. The hand soap, by the way, these are on sale today for $3.95. Brightest Room would be a great fragrance to wear on your wedding. Yes, 
Oh my gosh, crafting after midnight. Yes, this smells like something you would actually wear to your wedding. I know, which, believe it or not, um, dressed in white does not smell like a wedding scent. I don't know. It's just a weird anomaly. I just did a video about that. Check it out. I'm going to use this tonight. I got the shampoo, shampoo and conditioner uh, for Brightest Bloom, which I think is really cool. Um, smells good. Smells sweet smells a little floral i really like that it's a little fruity even though it doesn't say fruit there's something in here to me that kind of screams a little bit fruity and i don't know what it is maybe it's just a sweetness um but it's definitely a little bit of an anomaly i don't think the scent notes exactly match fresh cedar wood cedar wood's usually very heavy and they put it in aromatherapy maybe that's taking i don't know but cedar wood's not usually sweet so i feel like there's a little bit of a scooby doo mystery going on with um brightest blooms but um i like it i do i can't wait to try it in this thing i want to talk about tonight is i got the perfume thing is pricey though at what is it 64.95 Luckily, I had a 25% off coupon. When you wash out the shampoo squeaky clean, um, it's definitely squeaky clean, but you need a conditioner, bittersweet, uh, because without the conditioner, like, my hair would be standing on end. I can only use the shampoo about twice a week. I need to mix in a more moisturizing shampoo with it, um, but it is. It's, it's nice and squeaky clean. Oh, hey, Mariah. One of my favorite scents was Midnight Pomegranate. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Bath & Body Works discontinued it, but some super popular. Um, they could bring it back. Um, Midnight Pomegranate was really popular. That would be a good Christmas one to come back. Um, so it is like super pricey, but we're going to I'm going to do the big reveal. I'm not going to I'm not going to do a super long live tonight, by the way, you guys, because I when to go, I'm going to actually wash my hair with brightest bloom. And then I'm actually going to relax and watch TV tonight. Yay. But I wanted to do this. Oops, oops, why is my, my phone is ringing. <laughs> I have red hot chili peppers on my phone. <laughs> and it's like, it's a spam call. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen during a live. Oh, hey, Rebecca, Ohio Garden uh, Goddess. Oh, I got, that's what I got today, too. I did get the um, the Ice Love and Pound Cake uh, candle. My mom got a coupon in her email for a free candle. <sighs> Yay, I got that today. Okay, do you think Bath and Body Works will release another cucumber melon? Of course they will. <laughs> they got to do cucumber melon. <laughs> oh, Florida, it's snowing here, by the way, you guys. Okay, um, I I do. I'm very happy the ice lemon pound cake and the candle and the body care is coming back. Okay, Air, uh, Ariel, yes, I'm very happy. So, the big reveal. Are you guys ready? I'm going to pop the top off of this thing. The box is huge, by the way. Look at this. Oh, hey, Nicole. Yay. Uh, you know what? That's weird. Uh you know what? I want, I don't know why the notification I tried to do. It's I'm so bad at these lives. I never plan. I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel like my life is like, I just like jump on. I'm, I'm doing quite a few though. So hopefully everybody that wants to get on will find one. Um, so woohoo, look at this. It's beautiful. Okay. So look what happens when you take the lid off you get um the perfume this is so pretty you guys look at this the packaging absolutely gorgeous uh oh thanks nicole <laughs> I know. i'm so bad okay so check it out this is the bottle so i was really i didn't realize it came with um it's like a little leather flower. I mean, a uh, leaf. <laughs> I thought it was so pretty. The top is pink. And um, it's a, it's beautiful. Like, look at the green stem that goes through the center. I got to say, um, I was looking forward to later in the week, but all your video. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what? I do do um, a replay on the lives, too. So if you miss it, you can always do the replay. Uh, Sarah, do you think Bath and Body Works will release Island Margarita as a fragrance again? 
You know what? I don't think they will unless they do it like next tropical. I can't imagine them doing it in the summer, but you never know. So here's the lid. Very pretty. Uh, pink, kind of rose looking. And then I'm going to pop some of this on here. Look at this. So, so pretty. Um, it really is. Deborah. it really is really, really gorgeous. I got to say, I'm so glad I got it. Okay. Do a little dry down here. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, you guys. I guess, oh, hey, Rona. We're just talking about brightest bloom in the perfume. So, um, yeah, the bottle's gorgeous. Honestly, like, and I had just gotten a couple of, the, you know, I'm getting like all the Bath and Body Works perfumes now. I'm so bad. So I got Tropidelic. I don't like the Tropidelic. I decided it's really cute, you know, collectible. I do like Calypso Clementine. Uh, which is the fold out in the bottle. I'm glad you're doing like different types of um, bottles now. It's kind of fun, but um, I got to say my favorite is definitely um, the brightest bloom. This one is just, it's delicious. It really is. I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't usually like florals, you know me, but I got to say uh, this one is definitely a total winner for me. I like the little leaf. I like the pink top. <laughs> uh, is the top... Okay, this is plastic, Lima. Um, it's like a lucite plastic. Um, there's gold around the band. And then um, the leaf is... Um, it's like a leather, I guess you would call it. But it is a big bottle. How many ounces is this, by the way? Uh, let me see. It is... Where's the ounces on here? Uh, 3.4 ounces, which is more, I think, uh, than the regular one. So that's why I think there's a pretty thick glass bottom on here. But um, check it out. Look, look at how pretty this is. It's absolutely gorgeous in the box. And then um, there's like a little thing in here to stop it from like rolling around. And then you're going to kind of put the top on. And then the only thing is like, be careful with these because I've said this with other ones. Um, if you've got this stored on a shelf and you pick it up like this um, and you move it, it's going to like fall. And then like, I almost broke one of these. So you got to be careful with the perfume bottles. But I really wanted to do like the perfume reveal tonight because I know a lot of you, you know, it's pricey at $64 and I just wanted to make sure that um, everybody saw it. You know, if you're, if you can't get in the store, I wanted everyone to see what it looks like. So you know what you're getting if you happen to like order it online, but I'm, I'm glad I got it. <laughs> I, I was so lucky. So I had the 25% off coupon. Um, so let's see, what was that? Like, so 64.95 minus 25%. I paid like 48, which is still pricey, but I'm really, really glad I got it. So if you're just joining me, uh, we're kind of just talking about, um, the Brightest Bloom collection. I got the perfume. I got the shampoo. Um, yeah, not a fan. Rebecca, I know. I don't love the Tropidelic either. Glad you bought it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like, you know what? Wait until Easter. I thought about waiting till Easter, but I really want, I took one for the team. I'm like, I got to get this so I can review it for everyone. So that way, if you want to get it for um, Easter, it's going to, you know, 40% off. These are going to fly at 40% off for Easter. So I would, I would wait until Easter because I don't think they're going to be gone before then, but definitely wait. And, um, you know, 40% off at least is going to take you into the, like the thirties range, I think. Uh, the soap is stunningly beautiful, I got to say. And then I am going to get the rest of the collection. I'm going to get the Diamond Shimmer Mist. I'm going to get everything. Oh, hey, Matthew. Um, I just, I really think it's like, it is. It's it's making me happy too. It's like perfect for spring. It kind of reminds me of Perfect Peony when that one came out. Um, I loved that one. It was beautiful. It was delicious. It was pretty. <laughs> And um, I'm really enjoying like wearing this, which is, I, you know me, I like the foodie stuff, but it is absolutely pretty. Uh, we need to like this. Ah, thank you, Deborah. <laughs> 
I need a whole, I need this, I need a whole, oh, sea tax collection for summer. Yeah, don't we all? Oh my gosh. Um, Judy had sent me um, the sea tax mist. <gasps> oh my goodness. I remember what this smelled like. That was so wonderful. Uh, yeah, diamond shimmer mist in the uh, brightest bloom. Absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. <laughs> Gotta love that one. I don't know. There's just so much pretty stuff for spring. It's funny. Um, I don't know if, where you guys are. We actually had snow today, but the flowers are actually coming out. Like the trees have a little bit of greenery on them. And I am just really excited for spring this year. Um, when I was younger, I used to really be into fall, which I am for sense. But like in terms of the weather, I cannot wait to go outside and just walk around oh by the way don't forget oh my gosh uh i'm like shameless promotion here of my wonderful dear friend lenny especially because he designed these uh the the earth day collection on bonleo use code march 15th for 15 percent off but um Lenny's doing Cinco de Mayo right now he's so talented um let's see oh hey lady girl uh, we have some flurries. Yeah, it's, it is gloomy. It's like awful. I mean, I can't, I was really, really like, no, I cannot be outside today at all. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit, like I said, I want to do a launch party for Friday's Bloom. If you're just joining in, I got iced lemon pound cake today. Uh, oh, I, I, I'm so excited for you to get the Earth Day shirt, Rona. I think it's going to look beautiful on you. <laughs> I told Lenny was so excited you got one. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Um, the other thing, is anyone excited about uh, bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla? I am totally excited about this. This smells so good. I want to use this tonight. Um, it's really delicious. Um, little strawberry. I don't even have the scent notes on it because it's not on the <laughs> it's not on the shower gel. Ah, uh, thank you, Rona. Um uh, Ohio Garden, tomorrow is, yes, tomorrow's the first day of spring. I know, isn't that cool? It's like we have National Fragrance Week, first day of spring. Um, I just did a video about Dressed in White. Not super crazy about this one. Um, a lot of us were saying that Brightest Bloom would have been a better wedding set. Yeah, totally. Um, and then if you're just joining us tonight on the live, oh, hey, Holly. Um, I did get these today. This the floral fantasy is especially delicious. There's a patchouli note in here. This is so Halloween-y, you guys. Um, it is uh peach osmanthus, jasmine, and warm patchouli. It smells so good. Um oh, thank you, Rona. Okay, so the scent notes on um Bourbon, strawberry, vanilla are bourbon, vanilla, garden, strawberry, apricot, nectar, pink, jasmine, white oak. Yes. Okay. Thank you. This one is like, it's old school. That's why it's got so many scent notes. Thank you, Rona. That was really good. Oh, hey, uh, Vincica. Um, oh my gosh, we got 75 people here. I wasn't even sure anyone would show up on a, on a Monday night. <laughs> I'm definitely fading tonight. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already like 8.15. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an early girl. Somebody, it's funny, once in a while I'll go on late, at, you know, like 11 o'clock during the holidays when we've got a big sale. Uh, are you guys going to buy the other uh, five or six new beveled fragrances? Yes. So as soon as I can get my hands on the, the only reason I got just these today was because there wasn't a sale. And these are $18.95, you guys. So I did the buy three, get one. Because I really, I, I like to have stuff, you know, early so I can review it for you guys. So, you know, you know what you're getting. Uh, getaway Soiree. That smells like um, Honolulu Sun. The Lost in Santals, very aromatherapy. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, oh, Cherry. <laughs> laughing so hard my own dumb joke hey one hi peter uh did no the, the you mean um no they didn't do the men's collection today uh the first sight i even no yeah for at first sight we didn't have that yet um did, yes i did activate thank you mandy my two times points today activate that um 
So I get the oak cherry, and I'm like looking at it. The only thing that's going through my head is Steve Fairy. Oh, Sherry. <laughs> So I, I used uh, I used that song on my um, Instagram reel and my short. <laughs> Talk about an '80s girl. Oh, uh, hey, Metal Lark. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I thought that was, and I I really I I love that. Now every time I look at dressed in white, all I can hear in my head is Billy Idol's uh, White Wedding. <laughs> That's what you get when you you're you're immersed in '80s uh, music all the time. Yes, the beveled collection. These are gorgeous. I wasn't even sure this was for real. I was like, is this a real collection? Is it really coming out? Or um, is it just like one of those test things that we're never going to see? But I am hearing, oh, hey, hey, Sarah. Um, I'm hearing that this is going to go, uh, oh, hey, Cody. Um, I'm, I'm hearing this is going to be around for everybody. Uh, do you still spray your plant with any of the mists like last year? Oh, yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> Not my real plant. So like, like sometimes I'll, I'll like spray the plant I have behind me and then I get this wonderful aroma wafting off. <laughs> yes, I do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, the Gingham Unstoppable Candle Cold. Oh, I actually like Gingham Unstoppable. Believe it or not, I am kind of like digging this scent. I like it better than Dressed in White. So uh, go figure. Um, the other thing I got today was I got a couple of the soaps. Um, let me grab these two. I'm trying to organize everything. Um, the pink kiwi berry, if you're doing the 3.95 sale, is actually very good. I like the pink kiwi berry. Um, this one's good. Do they have all? You know what? Um, my store did have all ten, but they weren't on sale. Yvonne, that was I was like, uh, you know, that, they're expensive too. They're 18.95. So. Um, so I think they are getting them. Uh, Nicole, I have a YouTube live question. When an ad pops up, does it kick back? You know, I don't know. Just kick you back to the beginning of the live. Wait, does it? I, it's not supposed to, Nicole. That is not supposed to happen. That is so weird. Oh, my gosh. That's like, sometimes I don't understand YouTube world. <laughs> no way. Okay. Thank you for telling me that because I definitely want to fix that because that is like, not cool. <laughs> I can't think no, I have that happen to me a lot. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to make sure we don't do that. Okay. There's supposed to be a setting I thought where you could turn that off. Um, we're going to do that. Yeah. That, that kind of annoying. Um, do you know how long the soap sale? I do not Ray, uh, Peter know what how long the soap sale is. Um, that's a really good question. I know with National Fragrance Week, we're supposed to be having all kinds of stuff going on. Um, oh, Sarah, it picks up where you left off. You know, it's weird. I wonder if it's like a setting. I'll have to do some research. I'll have to do some good old YouTube research. Let me look at Tess to see if she's got any of the sales up for this week. Uh, she would know. Um, let me see. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't see anything. I don't know what's happening tomorrow. Um, let's see. Oh, yes, it's a setting. Okay, you might be able to turn it off, Ronan, Nicole. That would be good. Um, you know, it's funny. I haven't watched a live lately myself, so I, I, I will research that. <laughs> um, Chasing Daydreams is the other one I liked. Uh, I can't make up my mind on Brightest Bloom. I honestly think Brightest Bloom is actually really good. Sub sale until Wednesday. Thank you, Mandy. Ah, oh, this one smells really good. It's a uh, bright orange zest, glowing magnolias, and sparkling sun rays. Um, let's see. I hope Gingham Unstoppable. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it is going to be in the body butter. Uh, yes, Brightest Blooms does come in the hand soap. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. It is pretty. I got to say, I actually want to do my whole bathroom like in Brightest Bloom now. Um I see we've got more people here. 94 people. I always amaze that this many people show up. Um, this is the perfume. If you've just joined us, check it out. Huge bottle, 3.4 ounces. And then when you take this off, um, it is really, really pretty. Um, it's got the little leather leaf. And then there's a loose sight top on it. It's got a thick bottom. Look at this, how thick uh, the glass is on the bottom here. 
And then um, it does smell really good. I got to say, I actually really, I, it's funny. I don't like to wear my perfumes a lot because I collect them. I use them sparingly, but I think I'm actually going to start wearing this one because it looks really good. It is gigantic. I know. It, it's like, I think that's why it's the higher price point because it is huge. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of fairy tale. I kind of get like um, a distant cousin vibe going on there. Um, our store never, oh, Sarah, that's not good. So it does, I don't know if you guys saw earlier too, it does come in the shampoo and conditioner. So I had heard that from someone. The price on the uh, perfume is $64.95, which is really pricey. Yeah, it is over three ounces. It is 3.4 ounces. So it is bigger than um, some of the smaller ones. Um, yeah. I can't wait to try this. So, um, oh my gosh, we got like a hundred people here. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm always so amazed that so many people show up. What else happened today uh, in Beth and Body Works world? Um, oh, the candles, all of those Mother's Day candles released today. I'm not a fan when they say it smells like blossoming sunrise in the dreams of your horizon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. It's hard. So bittersweet. Here's what it smells like to me. Um, it smells, it's funny because the scent notes are hard on this one. I think it smells sweet. Oh, Mother's Day tote. Yes. I, Mother's Day tote is going to be all brightest bloom. That's all I know so far. I'm excited about the Mother's Day tote. I'm hoping the tote matches the, um, packaging. That would be good. As soon as I get any word on the tote, I will do a video. I'm definitely on the tote. Um, it's funny when you first spray it on, I feel it's a little bit sweeter. And then the dry down, you get a little bit more of that um, cedar wood. It's funny because the scent notes are odd. The scent notes are Lily of the Valley, which I usually hate. I cannot stand Lily of the Valley. I'm not picking up a lot of the Lily of the Valley in here. Um, Jasmine Sandback. I don't even know what Jasmine Sandback is. If anyone knows, please post. I don't know if it's like more of an exotic Jasmine. I don't know. It doesn't bother me in this one. Um, uh, I got a bitterness. Yes, Meadow. It does get a little bit different on the dry down. Uh, Garden Carnations. I actually love carnations. I'll have to say carnations smell good to me. Um, they're not powdery. I do get the carnation note and then the um, the fresh cedar wood. I think the dry down is possibly a little bit of the lily of the valley coming out and the cedar wood mixing together, which is giving off that slight bitterness. But it's it's so bizarre that when you spray it on, it smells super sweet. And then it dries down into this um, like deeper scent. So I would recommend trying it. I'm hoping between now and Easter, they do a body care sale and you guys can pick it up for, you know, like a $5.95 price point. I do want to get it in the shower gel because it's funny. A lot of times the shower gel is sweeter than the, like the perfume. I really like it in the shampoo. Oh my gosh. It's like delicious in the shampoo. Oh, um, yeah, Lily in the Valley is strong. I'll have to say, this is a fairly decent, like, scent in terms of lasting power. I'm actually getting um, a decent amount of, like, it's it's not going away quickly, which is nice. I mean, I did spray the perfume on, a, you know, the perfume's going to last a little longer than the fragrance mist. Um, I'm in New Jersey, and I'm praying we get these, uh, yeah, the 10 beveled ones. I know. I'm really hoping they release these you know, all over the country. And I'm really hoping they put them online because I know a lot of people want them. I'll have to say this cherry one is so interesting. Um, it is the black cherry, sheer magnolia and tonka bean. I'm like, whoa, because a lot of people don't like the um, black cherry Merlot can be like overpowering. Um, I like Sunset Glow personally, but um, Firecracker Pop is very, very like tart, juicy. And uh, sugared cherry crisp. You know, some people like it, some people don't. And the new sweetheart cherry is more bakery. This is a really delicious cherry for people who like a little bit more of a perfume 
with some cherry mixed in. Um, but it is it is like really, really, really good. I can't stop smelling this. This is wonderful. <laughs> oh, cherry. <laughs> uh, I'll check these out in Jersey stores. Uh, someone said brightest bloom is an almost exact dupe of Magnolia Charm. That's interesting, Sarah. I'll compare them. Um, I just had Magnolia Charm out. Oh, wait, where is it? It's, oh, Oh my gosh, I'm having like the best luck finding stuff under my desk, I swear. <laughs> oh, hey from Australia, April. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a side by side. Okay, we'll spray a little of this on. I'm gonna do it higher up. Okay. Okay, Sarah, they are close. That's so interesting. Oh my gosh, they are definitely siblings. Oh my gosh, that, you know, it's so funny when people, oh my gosh, that is so weird. Scooby-Doo mystery, you guys. Dewy pear blossom, blooming magnolia, fresh cedar. There's cedar in here too. That's so, <laughs> I know, I'm like whipping stuff out here. <laughs> I don't know how I can find that easy. That's so interesting about magnolia charm. They're a little bit different, I think. I'm gonna have to break this down. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do a true side by side on these. Um, but there is definitely a similarity. Actually, that would explain why I like Brightest Bloom if it's similar to Magnolia Charm because I love Magnolia Charm. Um, let's see here. Oh, hey Ashley. Okay, on the strawberry bourbon um, does come off pretty sweet. I know, Rona. I do get the sweetness. Yeah. It's a distant cousin. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's this is totally sweet. Oh, hey, Brandy. Um, oh, my gosh. Now I'm, like, so obsessed with comparing these. That's so interesting. I always, like, it's funny because how many cents does Bath & Body Works have? Like, um, a thousand? I mean, at least. One of these days, I'm actually going to count up all of the different scents in my mist collection. Cause I'm really curious, like how many I've acquired over the, uh, yeah, Scooby Doo mystery. All right. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see how many different scents I actually own. You know, that'll be, that'll be a good summer project. <laughs> I got to figure that out because I swear Bath and Body Works is now coming out with like 250, 350 cents per year. Oh, Hey Kelly. Um, it's just amazing how many like scents I know it's just when it says new fragrance and, uh, online and it's another scent from a while back that happens a lot. I swear it really does. Um, vanilla raspberry are common. That's true. I, you know, vanilla ras raspberry is a big scent for Bath and Body Works. Pear is too. They put, a, they put pear in like everything. <laughs> oh, show the gingham bottle. Uh, this is the gingham bottle. Um, and it's funny because it is a unisex scent. It is cologne mist. So it is uh, fresh neroli, sparkling water, and clean musk. Um, let me spray a little of this up. I actually like this. Oh, hey, BB. I, I think this is wonderful. I actually really, really like gingham stoppable because I'd seen a few people, um, put the scent notes and I'm like, I love this. I would totally like wear this all summer. Um, the fresh Neroli, I don't always like Neroli and the Neroli smells great in there. Uh, Destiny, Joy, oh, hey, Destiny. When do we think the local lemon, uh, oh, ice lemon pound cake. So Chris has it in um, Columbus, which makes sense. I am surprised my store did not have ice lemon pound cake because usually we get these scents a lot earlier in my area. And um, I've not seen it yet. So it's coming. I just don't know when it's going to be. Yeah, I, it's it's so weird that the gingham. This is like my favorite gingham, you guys. <laughs> like, what, what's wrong with me? I'm like loving this. Because the scent notes don't mask what I would like. Fresh neroli, sparkling water, and clean musk. Which I don't even know what that means. Like what's sparkling water? <laughs> that always cracks me up. Um, I'm not a fan of the... Oh, I, I don't like the original gingham at all all it is way too florally it's just like pungent um but I, I i just buy it because you know i, I like to have it in my collection which is kind of nice but i'm kind of curious to see what else we get in um the gingham unstoppable collection 
Uh, like I said, I have not picked up um, at first sight yet. I did get. I just did a first impression on Dressed in White. This is a late September or like late August, early September set. I wasn't sure what was going on with um, Dressed in White. I don't even understand Dressed in White, honestly, because like I said, you know, brides are going to pick their own set anyway. They're not just going to buy it for the packaging. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, oh, like the, Matthew, you love the, you know, so many people love the original Gingham. I know. That's why it keeps coming back. It's amazing. People love it. So, um, Oh, Gingham Heart of Gold, Nicole. That was a good one. I, I have to say I like that one. I like the Gingham Gorgeous and um, Vibrant, Fresh. I mean, these were nice, I got to say. But um, I really I like Bravest Bloom better. I absolutely love Strawberry Vanilla Bourbon. Oh, Heather, yes. Uh, usually Bath & Body Works Lotion smells like chemicals. This one does not. Oh, good. That's really good. Uh, Brandy, I got the candles for the Gingham and the wedding candles, but only dressed in white. Oh, did you like Brandy? Did you like the dressed in white? What did you think of it? Was it good? I'm kind of curious to see what everybody thinks of the dressed in white. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. It's it's just one of those things that uh, Brianna will they ever bring back uh, Gingham Love? I actually didn't mind that one. That's a good question. Um, you know, you never say never. Uh, oh, hey Megan. Uh, I wish Gingham Love would, yes, Gingham Love, a lot of people like that one. It, it was, I don't know why they just don't make that a staple for Valentine's Day. It fits really good. I hear Gingham Gorgeous will be repackaged. Oh, that's interesting because why? Why would they repackage this? It's so pretty. <laughs> I gotta say, that's like gorgeous. I don't know why they, Gingham Gorgeous is gorgeous. <laughs> Um, I will still get, um, let's see, uh, I will go back. Okay. In case it got discontinued. Uh, let's see. Oh, all these comments are coming in. I can't see like <laughs> everything's moving. Uh, Heather, I'm dying for ice lemon pound cake. Me too. I did get the candle today, by the way. Yay. I got the candle. It smells so good. This one is your sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake and whipped cream. It's beautiful. Definitely a foodie one. Um, I'm in Dayton, Ohio area. Nothing yet of the new 10 new cents in my store today. Um, no new gingham or dressed in white either. Ah, it's coming. It's all coming. Um, I have a bottle of the gingham love shower gel and one left of the lotion. I love that scent. So many people love that one. They really do. Um, Let's see, uh, Heather, I'm getting the candle hand sanitizer. Yes. Did you guys see there's a lip gloss in the ice lemon pound cake? That's like exciting. I know. Oh, yes, Dahlia. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to talk about Dahlia today. Um, they repackaged Dahlia again, which I thought was kind of interesting because isn't it still around in the Bevel Tufted collection? I was like, I was really surprised um, that they did that. That was weird. Um, Oh, hey, Sherry. Uh, we never get ice lemon pound cake here in Canada. That's really interesting. I did not know that. That's that's sad. <laughs> I'm, sad for, I'm sad for Canada not getting ice lemon pound cake. Uh, they keep, yes, Dahlia. Um, like, this is like the third time now they've brought it back. I was really surprised they repackaged Dahlia. Um, I do. Heather, I have a love-hate relationship with Dahlia, too. Um that's so odd that Canada does not get ice lemon pound cake. Uh, yes, uh, they did repackage. Um, whoa, Japanese cherry blossom smells different. I didn't actually smell it in the store, but um, I don't know if you can see this on my phone. I did take a picture, pretty up close picture of it today. Wait, where's my, oh, here it is. Um, this is the new Japanese cherry blossom. It's pretty, I'll have to say. Like I said, my mom loves it. So, oh, hey, Edith. Um, Yes, we need a body care sale. Like, I don't know. what it, it always perplexes me. It's like they launched all of this stuff today and there's no candle sale and body care is buy three, get one. So everybody's like, you want to buy it. Uh, do you know if the men's line for the wedding is in a perfume mist or body spray? Uh, handsome, I don't know that at all. I actually know very little, unfortunately, about... Um, the at first sight, I just happened to be in my store and they only had the mist in dressed in white. I was shocked. I was like, what? what's going on? I was so excited they had it though. So that was actually good news. 
Um, let's see. Can't wait for the body care sale. Uh, we rarely get to the store, but they were putting these out. Um, oh, cool. In the Denver area. That's good. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, I feel like spring is just like, you know, what's interesting, you guys, I feel like tropical is like done. I mean, tropical is like, <laughs> we're over tropical. Tropical is going to show up probably at semi-annual sale at like a low discount price. Um, yes, there are almost like, I almost feel, does anyone else feel like a little bit overwhelmed by how much product is coming in? I kind of feel that too. I mean, and I review, so like I know every product. Um, these 10 new body mists have really thrown me because this is a huge collection. I'm, I'm glad we've got it, but it's, it's definitely a little bit overwhelming. Uh, yes, this guy's shop's got the lip gloss. I know I saw that in my ice lemon pound cake. Um, yes, how their tropical, their tropical was like, what happened to tropical? It was, I know 10 was just like, so we've got the 10 and the beveled. We've got dressed in white. We've got brightest bloom. We've got Dahlia. We've got um, the butterfly repackage. We've got the uh, bourbon, vanilla, and strawberry. And what else have we got? <laughs> oh, the gingham unstoppable. <laughs> like there's so much. Oh, hey, Emily. Oh, Missouri. Greetings from Missouri. I hope the weather down there is okay. I heard you guys are getting kind of bad weather. I know, Tropical's old news. It's funny, Tropical is such a bizarre, like, collection. It's like, you're gone. I know. Um, I only got the strawberry, uh, uh, bourbon strawberry vanilla in the shower gel. Oh, hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Glad you could make it. Um, I only got it in the shower gel and the mist. So check it out. Um... I like it though. I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta get the mist. I didn't want to buy the mist today because I didn't have an app reward. I got these free with my app reward, so that's why I, I, that was the only reason I got those today. Um, I asked for the sparkling watermelon and the peonies. Oh, okay. And they said they did not have those in the candle today. That's interesting. We had a lot of the new um, Mother's Day candles in. I'll have to say, I the only reason I got one, I did not pay full price for this. It was free. Because my mother got an email for one free candle. So I got a candle. I was so excited that she got that email. That made my day. Oh, hey, Steph. Uh, Bonnie has a book that you can buy to help. Oh, yeah, I do. I do actually. <laughs> I think I have these somewhere here. Oh, yeah. So if you go to Amazon. <laughs> Everything's under my desk. I actually wrote a series of books. Um there's scent journals and planners, and there's actually one for Halloween. So basically what they are um, is you can like categorize like summer scents, sweet tea and lemonade. Uh, you can write everything down in here. And then I also have like, um, they're called seasonal scent planners. So like if there's a sale or something, there's like candle, these are for any company. These are not just for Bath and Body Works. Um, but that's every single um, month is in here. And then I also have in the back, let's see, one of them I have like a wish list for uh, different, I don't know. I have, I have like six of them. I was going to write another one, actually. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, oh, I have a fall body care inventory book. <laughs> this is all fall pumpkin Apple, if you go to Amazon and you just go to Queen of the Girl Geeks or my name, Bonnie DeCasey, they'll come up. So that's all you got to do. On They're only on Amazon. So I do have a Halloween one. <laughs> the Halloween one's actually kind of fun. I actually have a candle throw chart in them too. So that's how I rank my candles. Um, but yeah, uh, Halloween, I have spooky scents, pumpkin scents um candy scents so you can kind of like write down all your favorite scents so um oh ashley did the live start over you know someone said the live was like acting really funky tonight like it was like starting over what the heck oh my gosh youtube i don't know what's going on i feel like we have we're, we're having like um i don't know maybe it's pre-eclipse uh 
<laughs> I don't know what's going on. That's really weird. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't wait for Halloween, you guys. <laughs> I'm excited. Halloween's going to be fun. I don't know why um, it's doing that. Uh, I think we're glitching. I swear. I It's like, you know what? I really feel like this week I was thinking like everything techn technological has been going wrong for me this week. I don't know why. So it does not surprise me. <laughs> So, um, oh, it's not me. It's okay. Good. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> What's going on this week? <laughs> Everything's breaking. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy that the lotion doesn't smell like chemicals. Yay. Uh, yes. Candy potion. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, this is kind of fun. Uh, I got all my dirty soul soap company, uh, stuff on the shelf organized. Uh, I'm going to start talking more about these this week too. I got to do mint buttercream. Uh, you're doing, uh, you're doing great. Not you. Oh, good. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> oh I don't know what's going on. Technology this week has not been my friend. Um, so anyway, whoa, I went longer than I thought. I did an hour tonight. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So this was gonna. This was actually the brightest bloom launch party. So if you're just joining and you didn't see it, I got the perfume. I'm so excited. Um, it's pricey, but it's 3.4 ounces. I like the way it smells. And um, my next live is probably going to be Monday, the 25th for Bridgerton. I, I, that's probably going to be the next time I do a live. So that's what I'm going to try and do. That's my plan. In the meantime, I'm going to start reviewing like, all of this stuff. I'm going to get, get on it here. And, um, you know, we're, we'll, we'll go over all the new, I'm going to review all of these individual. So anyway, oh my gosh, you guys, I hope everyone has a good night. I am a little later tonight because Harry Slatkin had his live on Instagram, which was so exciting. Anyway, I hope everyone has a really good night. I will post the replay, uh, on the community tab and, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully technology is working tomorrow. <laughs> Stay warm, everyone. Bye-bye.